Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther and today we're going to check it out some new logo prompts in Midjourney and then we're going to take them into Adobe Illustrator, vectorize them and make them perfect. Also, if you want to learn how to make all these videos here in these examples and push your skills to the next level, I launched my Patreon page where I uploaded a bunch of these advanced tutorials. If you want to check them out, you can click the link in the description and access Patreon premium content where you can access a bunch of high quality images and tutorials. I'm going to show you the prompts that I used. It's something like this, a geometrical flower logo designed with six petals, minimal modern vector. And then there's like a lot of combination. Basically you can switch it up, you know, the flower logo design and then eventually delete this part. It works really good with the minimal modern and vector. And let me see some more alternatives. Oh, there you go. Modern vector design, organic shapes, minimal symmetric. It also does the job. Mainly these were the pretty good options. Let me select a design that eventually I'm going to take into Adobe Illustrator. So this is pretty nice. I was thinking about this, but this is kind of basic. This has some unique potential. So I'm going to screenshot it. I can press Shift plus Windows plus S, prop it, go to Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to press Control V. I'm going to press Shift plus Alt, scale it down. And I also got to go to the opacity, decrease it to 50%. So it's going to be more transparent. So this way we're going to draw over the shape. I gotta go to the layers, I gotta lock it and I gotta create a new layer. I gotta go with this shape because I can show you some really helpful techniques. So let's go to the field, click on the field, click on the none, click on the stroke, go with a color. I gotta go and select the black and select the pen tool which is located here. And we're gonna start creating a pet hole. I'm planning to go with the right one. This looks pretty nice. So I gotta click on it, press and hold shift to isolate horizontally. I'm gonna add another one here and another one here and i'm gonna zoom in and i'm gonna modify this one i gotta press and hold control click on this anchor point and now i can customize the handle now we're gonna need to reflect it i won't draw it further because we're gonna need the same perfect shape so i'm gonna select it let's go and select the reflect tool press and hold alt click on this anchor point make sure to choose horizontal and click on copy. Now we reflected it. Let's select the direct selection tool, select these two anchor points here and go to convert, select and points. Do the same thing with the left. And now we get the shape. I'm gonna swap it from field to stroke. You can swap it here. I'm gonna rotate it, press and hold shift, rotate it 90 degrees and I'm gonna position it here now because I wanna vectorize these elements right here. So I'm gonna select the pen tool again. I'm gonna swap it from field to stroke and vectorize it. and it looks something like this. I'm gonna swap it. And what I'm gonna do is create a new artboard. I'm gonna select these shapes, press and hold Alt, create a new copy. I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna reflect it, select the reflect tool, press and hold Alt, click on the anchor point in the center and now select vertical, click on copy. It looks pretty nice. Now I'm gonna select them all, right click, select group. And I'm gonna go back, delete these and just position them right here. So I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna select it, right click on group and I'm gonna work right now only with the petals instead of this decoration. Now we're gonna go to effects, distort and transform, transform. And we're gonna calculate the petals. We got eight petals in total. So we're gonna create eight copies here. So you're gonna type in here eight. The angle is gonna be, I think, 45 degrees. There you go. And we're gonna decrease the horizontal and increase the vertical until it's gonna fit. And something like this. For me, in my case, the horizontal is minus 36 and the vertical 15. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna select it, go to Object, Expand Appearance. Good, now I'm gonna select these decorations. I'm gonna right click, group them, and I'm gonna select the Reflect tool again I'm going to press and hold Alt and click here on this edge and go to horizontal, click on copy. I'm going to select both, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, or you can go to edit, paste in front and from here, press and hold Shift, rotate it 90 degrees like this. Wow. So let's see what we created. Beautiful. From here, all you need to do is to color it and make it beautiful looking. So this was it. Thanks for watching.